teachers have tested positive for the virus in the last few months. And today we're digging into new data helping state leaders better predict what is to come with COVID-19. Like the Fairbanks study we told you about yesterday that found 45% of Hoosiers who have had the virus have not shown symptoms. And our Melissa Crash now finding out how officials are using this information to prepare for the pandemic in the future. These numbers are really the first of their kind, certainly in Indiana and debatably anywhere in the United States. Dr. Nir McKinney is leading testing efforts for the Fairbank study. I think our results advance our understanding of things that were heretofore unknown. His team is trying to understand who is getting sick with coronavirus and why. Information that will help predict how many people may need to be hospitalized in the future. I think the spikes are going to be a function of how well people are able to adhere to the precautions um, in this new normal. Uh, this new normal is not going to go away until we have a vaccine. And I think staying closed indefinitely is just not an option. Every day there's new research and the Polis Center at IUPUI is tracking all of it through this coronavirus data hub. So we've really tried to expand it um, quite a bit so we continue to add new functionality to it. Mary Ann Cardwell is the project coordinator. Her team created this map to show the local risk of social isolation in older adults. They're also looking at how the virus impacts race and gender and how neighborhoods play a role. According to their research, African Americans are 2.4 times more likely to test positive in Indiana. I think as we learn how it spread and who those people um, are that are most at risk, and as we start opening up, we can see how that's impacting us. While it's too early to tell how reopening will impact data, both experts agree the fight is not over. I think that will help us make better decisions moving forward to strike that balance between reopening the economy but keeping us mostly safe or as safe as we can be. I think we have slowed the spread of the virus. I don't think anyone should assume we have won the war against the virus. I'm Melissa Crash, Fox 59 News. The phase two of the Fairbanks study starts next month. And just like the first phase, researchers will random use random Hoosiers that they've been selected to be tested. So if you get a call or maybe a text message, you are encouraged to participate because it could help. Well, Governor Holcomb didn't host a briefing.